In this video, Sammy's going to show you how to replace the front brake pads and rotors on an F450. So, you could probably use a normal jack, but I'm just going to use a bottle jack. And a good place to jack these up by is you can go this bracket here, axle, front diff, lots of different places. So as you can see the wheel drive, the wheel is just barely off the ground now. So you can take it off so you won't have to fight as much putting it back in. It's a 21 millimeter for the lug nuts. Well, that's off. <laughs> Take the tire off like that. The next step is going to be to take off this little spacer. Spacer, they're 21 millimeter nuts. So they're a little tight. The bolt's off. You want to give it some love tap. Spin it some. It's a little bit of physical persuasion. It goes a long way. Metal ring in here it sits on. That's where it gets seeds up to. She is almost out, and there it goes. So these are going to be a 16 millimeter. So just get in there, zap them out real quick. This is going to want to pry this off. I'm trying kind of hard not to have this go into my cameraman's face. There we go. Now that off, squeeze that. So you're gonna want to just go from the bottom, pry up a little, and then this top part will slide down. And then you just take it off from there, put it somewhere where the hose is not gonna be stretched, pop the pads out, and then you're gonna depress the caliper. Now locks. there start squeezing you'll see the pistons going down it's compressed it's time to take off the bracket it's always good to make sure this is depressed before you start taking everything else out because you do not want it to be seized when you take everything apart and then you go get a caliper so I'm just gonna put this out of the way in a safe spot Ain't going nowhere. Now we're gonna take these off. These look like they're 21, probably 22 or 24. We'll get one out and go to the other. So you got your bracket bolts out. Take the bracket off and the rotor is already loose, so we just slide that on off. Now we're just cleaning some of the rust where that little hub sits on. You can see somebody already put some anti seize or something on there. I just hose it down with a little bit of brake clean. Now we can clean the rotor and put it back on. Spray a little bit of brake clean. Take your little towel, we'll wipe it down. Then go ahead, slide this over. Be ready here because these are a bit heavier than your normal rotors, but they're not too bad. Now we've got that on, we're going to go on this side, get a little hose down. And now we're going to take our bracket and pop the old shims off. Take a new bag of shims. Get two shims, take the bracket. This is one shim, but pop it on. Go 
Bullet Hood. Pop that on. Just gonna want to slide these on. Like so. Grab a bolt. Just gonna line it up here the threaded bite. Start threading it. This one went in a bit weird. Just want to make sure it's all in there good. Now they're on there tight. Now we can go on, put the pads on. Take your grease. Put a little grease in your finger. Just kind of get the ears of the pads. Uh, that's done. I want to go angle it up. Just kind of slide it on in there. Go ahead and slide that on in. Once you got it there, you're going to take the bolts, and these are basically the slider pins, so you're going to want to just put a little bit of grease on them, just a tad. Slide this in. We're going to take the other one, put a little bit of grease on it. Slide this one in. Just gotta find the hole. Now we're gonna start them by hand first. here the point of them is so when you let off the brake pedal the brake pads don't like seize the bracket or something get stuck on the rotor so it's spring loaded they go in these little divots in the pad in here and you hook these in and then you hook this around so when you put the caliber on you're gonna have to be like squeezing it together and kind of get the caliber in like that so take you a minute if you've never done it before but yeah so now that you got everything together, just close the rotor down and brake clean. And now you can go and put your hub back on. But before I do that, I'm going to wire up brush this little inner ring on it. Just so it's better for the future, it won't get worse. Just this part, this part around here. You can put an anti seize on if you want to. Wouldn't hurt. Now you're done with that. Give it a quick spray down. back on and if you're wondering why it's not going on it's probably because you have a nut that you're using to hold your rotor now you just can start all the nuts 
and set them down with the impact. I could do it in like crisscross order, just make sure it goes on evenly. As you can see, we got them all nice and tight. Now we're gonna put the wheel back on. 